Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do an update for my rolling project pan and I will go ahead and link to the last video that I did up in the cards there in case you want to go check out where I was the last time I did an update on all of these products. Before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you have the notification bell turned on so you know when I upload. If you like project pan videos, I'd also really appreciate a thumbs up on this one and now let's get into the makeup. So I've actually been doing pretty well on this project, I think, and I managed to finish off four out of my 10 items within the last month or so, however long ago it was since I last did an update. Uh, and the thing that I'm most excited to tell you guys about, I can't believe I went through this product so fast, but I ended up finishing my Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. Now I had just added this product in the last time I did an update, and I was all the way up here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to really see that, but I really had hardly started to use this at all, and it is completely done. You guys, I loved this stuff. It was so nice, very, very moisturizing, very easy to apply and just wear really whenever. A lot of times I would throw this on before I went to bed and then I would reapply it throughout the day. So I got a ton of use out of this. I've got a bunch of other lip balm, lip gloss kind of things. So I'm not going to purchase this right now, but this was so nice. I really, really enjoyed using that. And then the next product I finished was my Mario Badescu facial spray. This was a no brainer. I knew I was going to be able to finish this one off. I was just about there the last time I did an update and I used this really regularly. I love spraying this on as I'm doing my makeup to kind of just set everything or not really set everything, but just kind of, uh, but just to kind of meld everything together, make my uh, face look a little bit less powdery. So I knew I was going to finish this one off and I actually have another one that I already started working on because I really like this spray. So there's that one. And then another product that I finished off was my Urban Decay powder. I had had this for a while and had been working on it for a while, um, but there it is. It is all completely finished. This was the Naked Ultra Skin ultra definition powder foundation and I had it in the shade light neutral it was getting a little bit too dark for me or going now into fall I knew this was going to be too dark for me so I'm very happy that I was able to finish that off and then the last product I finished was my little LOC eyeshadow stick this one was called on point there's a tiny little bit left on there, but it's um, whittled all the way down. Um, so I'd have to sharpen it. And I don't think I'm going to be able to sharpen this. I finished this off quite quickly after the last update. So it's been a while, um, but I'm sure I tried to sharpen this and it just wouldn't go. So that one is completely done now. So now moving on to all the products that I still had in the project from last time. And then at the end of the video, I will show you all the new products that I will be adding in to replace the items that I finished. Um, all right. So I'm going to first start out here with my Trentinoin cream. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but this is a cream that I get from my, uh, from my dermatologist. So it is a prescription product, but it, it does wonderful things for your skin. I love this stuff. Um, and I am currently right about there on here. This actually expires at the end of the month. I think I will probably be okay going a little bit after that. There isn't a whole lot left in here, so I might as well go ahead and finish it. I think I would be almost done with this within about a month or so. Um, so I'm gonna say like by the end of October, by around Halloween, if I'm not completely done with this, I'm just gonna throw in the towel with this. I do already have a backup of this and it's quite inexpensive with my insurance, so I'm not wasting a whole lot of this. You know, it didn't cost me all that much. Actually, I'm pretty sure this one was free. I did have to pay for the new one that I got though. It was only like 10 bucks though. Um, but yeah, I really, really like that stuff. Happy to use it. And I'm just going to see until Halloween how, uh, how far I can get with this one. Here's the lipstick that I put in this project. This one is a little mini one from Bite Beauty. This is the shade Verbena. And I did not do a swatch last time, so let me go ahead and do that. Um, it's a really pretty color. I've been uh, wearing this quite often. And you can see there, I didn't mark it last time, so I'm not sure exactly how much I had. Uh, but I think I made some good progress. I went through a couple of Bite Beauty things last year as well, and I remember them taking quite a while. You'd think with this just being a mini, you'd be able to finish it within a month. That is not the case with Bite Beauty anyways. Um, maybe some other lipsticks you could, but not this particular formula. Um, and I'm okay with that. Hopefully I will be almost done by the next update, if not completely done. Um, but I do really enjoy wearing this. I think this is a really pretty fall color, so it's perfect for this time of year. Um, so yeah, so there is that. And the next here is my eyeliner from MAC. This is the uh, Graph Black Technical Eyeliner. Um, and again, I didn't mark how far I was in the last update, but I've used this quite a bit, so I think there's some significant progress, which is awesome. Um, I do really like this product, but I've got so many eyeliners, it'll be nice to uh, get another one, another one out of my collection relatively quickly, because I just added this one in the last update, I think, maybe two updates ago, within the last couple of months, and um, I definitely think this will be done by the end of the year, but probably not the next update, but we'll see. 
Then here is my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I think by the last update I had already removed the stopper and we're still going strong with this. There's definitely still some in there. Hopefully by the next update there will be like hardly anything left in this because I've had this now forever And this is just like an absolute behemoth of concealer like it is just like the hugest thing of concealer ever It's like non-stop. I do like it, but I do want to play with some of my other concealers that I have So very much looking forward to having that out of my collection. Hopefully by the end of the year all right, so I accidentally brought down the wrong one of these. This is the uh, Benefit Do The Hula Liquid Bronzer. And if you watched the last update, you know I was having issues deciphering which one that I was using. So I actually uh, drew a star on the top of the other one that I was supposed to be using. And I have used that one a couple of times. I just grabbed the wrong one to bring down here to my basement to film today. Um, so this is not the actual product, but I have used it a few times. Um, and I've been mixing it with a moisturizer and using it like on my neck and chest area, on my shoulders. Um, but I don't love this. I think it's kind of pointless. It's very, very orange. So whenever I finish the other one, hopefully again by the end of the year, I will be very, very happy. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make myself use this other one that I have. I might just throw in the towel and uh, declutter this sometime next year. We'll see. All right, now moving on to the blush that I had in this project. And if you saw the last video, you remember that I used, uh, was using my Benefit Rockateur blush. Um, well, as soon as I made that video, I decided that I'm just going to go ahead and put my Seraphine Botanicals Happy Hibiscus uh, blush back in the project. So I decided to stop using that one like literally right after I made that video and go ahead and start using this one again. This one I think I had in the project since the very beginning of the year. Then I took out around June maybe, started using the Benefit one, and now I'm bringing it back in because I would just absolutely love to get rid of this one by the end of the year. I think this blush is amazing. I really, really like it, but I, I just would love to finish a blush. That's just such a goal of mine right now because it's been forever since I finished a powder blush. Literally, I think it's been since high school since I finished a powder blush. Um, so I would love to finish this one this year if I can. So I just decided to bring it back a month early. I was going to bring it back um, for this update, but I just decided, uh, just decided to work on it a little bit sooner than that just so I can try and knock it out as soon as I can. All right, so now moving on to the four products that I'm going to be adding in. Um, and the first one is another powder. This one is from J. Manuel Beauty. I've had this one for a couple of years. They did send me a few products uh, a couple of years ago to try out. Um, and I really, really like this powder. I've been using it on and off since I've gotten it. And this is their um, Filter Finish Collection Luxe Powder in the shade Light Filter 3. This is what we're working with here. Um, it's probably going to be very hard for you to see. Uh, there is quite a bit of a dip going in here now, but there is no pan showing yet. So my goal for the next update would definitely be to have some pan. You can see some of the ridges starting to show in the powder, so there's quite a big dip. And like I said, I have been using this on and off since I got this powder, but I'm just now really going to be focusing on this one to try and knock it out. So I think the goal of hitting pan by the next update is totally doable for me. Um, and I really like this product, especially now going uh, back into winter when my skin is going to be more dry. It's a really lightweight powder. It's not super oil absorbing or anything. So I think this is a perfect powder for this time of year. And here's an eyebrow product that I'm going to be adding in. This is a little mini version of the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. It's got a spoolie on one end and then there isn't a whole lot left. Um, but I really just want to knock this one out. I know I keep saying that in this video. I don't know that I've ever used that phrase before. I'm in a little bit of a weird mood tonight. Um, but that's what we're working with here. There, there isn't a whole lot left, so I can definitely knock this out by the end of the year. I'm pretty confident. Um, I've had this for a while now. I'm pretty sure I got this as a free sample from an Ulta order a year, maybe even two years ago. So I think I've had this a while. It's not my favorite brow product. I much prefer my Benefit Precisely My Brow, um, but I've got this. I want to just go ahead and use it up. So there is that. Next up, I've got a lip balm that I'm going to be adding into the project. This is from Hanalei. This is just their basic lip treatment. I discovered this stuff through an Ipsy bag a few years ago. They sent us like a little mini one and I loved it. It was just like an absolutely amazing lip balm. Um, and so when I was pregnant, um, this was probably like right before I gave birth to Ivy. So like March, February, March of 2017. So definitely over a year ago now at this point, I went ahead and ordered some more of this off Amazon because it was amazing and my lips were really dry. Um, so I've used quite a bit of this. You can see I have marked this here. So I don't have much left at all, but I would like to uh, just go ahead and try and use as much of this as I can. 
perfect lip gloss or perfect lip balm, you know, for right before bed, I always throw this on my lips. And then anytime that I'm in my bathroom throughout the day, I'll go ahead and throw it on as well. And here's the last product that I'm going to be adding into the project. This is a lip liner from e.l.f. and this is the shade Mauve Luxe. Uh, and you might be wondering if you've been watching my progress on this project, uh, didn't you already go through one of those Mauve Luxe lip liners like a couple months ago? And the answer is yes. Yes, I did. Um, I had two of them. I don't know how I ended up with two of these, um, but I really like this color lip liner with the with the um, uh, Bite Beauty lipstick. So I decided to just go ahead and try and work through the other one that I have. Um, so this is what we are working with now. I'm not going to mark it. I would probably lose a piece of paper if I started to mark on it, you know, with the progress. So um, we're just going to measure this by my hand right here. Um, so you can see here, it's just a little bit bigger with the cap on, a little bit bigger than uh, my palm. So that is what we are working with now. I really like this color, like I said, and I think it works pretty well with the uh, lip liner or with the lipstick. So there's those two together. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to knock this out by the end of the year. I don't know, I've got quite a bit, but it is really soft. So you do need to uh, sharpen it every single time you use it. So I just might be able to use this by the end of the year, but we'll see. So that was everything for this project pan update. Pretty pleased with the progress that I've made on all of the products and looking forward to using all of the new ones that I'm going to be adding in. And I did want to tell you guys too that every time I film a video, or most every time I film a video, um, I will put a picture of what my makeup looks like on my Instagram and I will list every product that I use. So if you're ever curious about what makeup product I'm wearing in a video, go ahead and check out my Instagram. That will of course be linked down below. It always is. Um, so if you're ever curious about what kind of makeup I'm using, you can go look down there and actually tonight I actually filmed myself getting ready um, so you'll be able to go onto the Instagram and see me actually using the products so of course haven't edited the video and uploaded it yet so hopefully it works out I've never done that before um, so I'm crossing my fingers that that works out but if I can't get the actual video up there will at least be a picture of this look on my Instagram so you can see what I'm wearing if you are curious but thank you guys so much for watching today and hanging out for a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel again so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Like this video if you enjoy Project Pan, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!